understanding about what it means to be a living donor. Now we have a couple organs that we're able to give when we're still alive. Now you have to be over the age of 18 to be a living donor. And this is between you and a loved one. You and someone in the family. Okay, it's not a random person, it's not a stranger, it's someone you know, it's someone in the family, someone you love. That might be in need of one of these organs I'm gonna talk about. So the first organ that we will discuss is the kidney, okay? Now why do you think we're able to give a kidney? How many do we have? Two. two. Right, we have two. And we're able to survive on one. So that's why we're able to give a kidney to a loved one if they might be in need. Okay, that's living donation. Now a lot of people who go through kidney failure have to go on dialysis. Have you guys heard of dialysis before? Some are shaking your head yes, some are saying no, okay? Does anybody know the function of the kidneys? Way in the back. Clean the blood. Excellent. Cleans our blood. It filters our blood for us. Good job. Okay, so when our kidneys stop working, when they're not functioning properly, then there's nothing there to clean the blood. So a patient has to go on a dialysis machine. Okay, the dialysis machine is going to filter the blood for the patient. About two to three times a week, two to three hours per session, Sometimes more or less, it just depends on the case. But it can be really hard for someone who has to go through dialysis all the time. Now this next picture is a picture of a real kidney. You guys okay with seeing something like that? Yeah. Do? Okay, let me know if anybody does not feel well, please raise your hand. Okay, I don't want anybody feeling nauseous this morning. Okay, so just let me know. Yeah. 